क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू ऑनवर्ड्स आर सिंगल डिजिट इंटीजर टाइप क्वेश्चन देर आंसर आर फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन सिंगल डिजिट इंटीजर सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू विच से नंबर ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमर्स पॉसिबल फॉर द कॉम्प्लेक्स सी ओ एल टू सी एल टू एल टू इज आर डाइडेंटेट ली गेम्स सो इट हैज टू डोनर साइट लेट एस से दीज आर ए एंड बी एन एस टू ग्रुप लेटर से ए एंड ऑक्सीजन ग्रुप लेटर से बी दिस इज ए एंड दिस इज बी एंड इन बिटवीन यू हैव टू कार्बन एटम्स सो लेट एस ड्रॉ देर आइसोमर्स वी हैव सी ओ इन दिस A A are present at cis position, B B are at also at cis cis position, but C L C L they are at trans position. Again, chlorine atoms are at trans position. A is trans. and b is also trans so the next isomer will be when we have b cis cl cl cis and a trans the in the another case we'll take b trans and a cis and in the third case what we can do all our position all positions are cis position so here we can see we have five geometrical isomer so for this question the correct answer is 5 now let's move to the next question which says in neutral or faintly alkaline solution eight moles of permanganate ion quantitatively oxidize thiosulfate anions to produce x moles of sulfur containing products the magnitude of x is as we know in the alkaline medium thiosulfate on oxidation gives us sulfate so s2o3 2 minus gives us sulfate so4 2 minus when react with permanganate ion mno4 minus mno4 minus reduces to mno2 if i balance this chemical reaction we'll get 6 3 moles of s2o3 2 minus 8 moles of permanganate ions which gives us 6 moles of sulfate ion and 8 moles of mno2 here we can see 8 moles of permanganate ions are giving us 6 moles of sulfate ions so the correct answer for this question will be 6 so we are getting 6 moles of sulfur sulfur containing product which is 6 moles of sulfate ion now let us move to the question number 34 So this is the next question we have the mole fraction of a solute in a solution is 0.1 the mole fraction of solute is given which is 0.1 at 298 kelvin molarity of this solution is the same as its molality molarity is given equal to molality for the solution density of the solution at 298 kelvin is 2 g per centimeter cube the ratio of molecular weights of solute and molecular weights of 
solvent is this is the question so first of all let us calculate the molarity or molality as we know mole fraction is given 0.1 let the number of moles of solution is 1 mole so number of moles of solute that is let us say b is equal to 0.1 mole and number of moles of solvent let us say solvent as a and this is 0.9 mole so these are number of moles of solute and solvent now can we calculate the molality yes molality is the number of moles of solute by weight of solvent in kilogram so number of moles of solute is given 0.1 weight of solvent will be 0.9 into the molecular weight of solvent divided by 1000 why 1000 because this mass is in grams we will have to convert this mass in kilogram so we will divide it by 1000 so this is our molality now we need to calculate the value of molarity for that we need the volume of solution as we know weight of solution is weight of solute plus weight of solvent so weight of solute will be 0.1 into molecular weight of solute and what will be the weight of solvent that will be equal to the number of moles of solvent plus molecular weight of solvent so plus 0.9 into molecular weight of solvent this is weight of solution and we know density is equals to weight of solution upon volume of solution that means volume of solution is equals to weight of solution upon density this volume will be in milliliters so we can calculate the molarity molarity will be equal to number of moles of solute which is 0.1 divided by volume of solution volume of solution in ml is ws upon d and ws is 0.1 times of molecular weight of solute plus 0.9 times of molecular weight of solvent so this is 0.1 times of molecular weight of solute plus 0.9 times of molecular weight of solvent divided by density divided by 1000 1000 for converting the volume of solution in liters now as we know according to the question molarity is equals to molarity so molality is given equal to molarity so we will put these two values equal so this is 0 0.1 into 1000 divided by 0 0.9 into molecular weight of solvent is equals to 0 0.1 into 2 into 1000 divided by 0 0.1 times molecular weight of solute plus 0 0.9 times of molecular weight of solvent when we solve this equation molecular weight of solute by molecular weight of solvent will come out equal to 9 so this this ratio will be equal to 9 so the correct answer for this question will be 9 now let us move to the next question 